Welcome to setting up your Google Classroom. Open up Chrome on your web browser on your computer and locate the waffle in the upper right hand corner. Click on the waffle and locate the classroom icon button and click on that button. If you belong to other classrooms, you will see folders of them at this time, but if you don't, this page will be blank. Head to the right top corner and click the plus button. This is where you will click create a class. When creating a class, you will need to answer the first two questions. Your class name should be your school name. Your class section should be PE-Physical Education. You may leave the subject and the room number blank. When you are done with this, go to the bottom right corner and click Create. You are almost done setting up your class but now you need to do some of the background information behind the scenes. Go up into the upper right hand corner and click the wheel or the flower button. The flower or wheel is right next to the waffle icon. At the top of the page you will see the class details section. You have already pre-filled in the two major sections. The class name, which is your school name, and the section, PE, Physical Education. The other three sections, class description, room, and subject, can be left blank because they are not seen on the student's homepage. Scrolling down to the general section, there are several things you need to change or take notice of. The class code. If your code has an I, an L, a zero, maybe a Q in it, you might want to change this code so that students do not make errors when they're inputting the code. This one has several letters that can be very confusing. If you notice, there's an I, there's a Q, and so I will proceed to change it now. Next to the code, there's a down arrow, and I am going to push the reset button until I find a code that I'm happy with and I think the students cannot mess up for different letters or characters. Now that I'm happy with the code, I will move down to the next items. As for streaming, I want students to be able to post and comment, so I will leave that one the way it is. The next section says classwork on the stream. We recommend that you Use the down arrow and change that to hide notifications. And the last two sections, we recommend both of those toggled to the left so they are off. Finally, when it comes to grading, we want to keep this super simple for the students and for the teacher. So when it goes to overall grade calculation, go to the down arrow and turn that to no overall grade and where it says show overall grade to students, toggle that off and that will keep it simple and clean for the parents, the students, and for you as the teacher. Finally, make sure you go back up to the top in the top right corner and press the save button so all of these changes can be saved. Finally, let's select a theme for your main page to decorate it and fit your style. Look at the picture they provided and in the bottom right corner click on select theme. Search through the gallery of pictures in each of the different categories and find one you like or one that appeals to you. Select the image that suits you and in the bottom left hand corner click on the blue button select class theme. Congratulations, your class is set up. In the next video series, you will learn how to add messages and videos, upload assignments, add students, and keep in contact with your kids for this distant learning experience.